You're watching Tech Nation TV. In this episode, we'll be looking at the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 versus the LG V10 for your daily driver. My name's Rusty G, and uh, I was actually going to go through and do kind of a side by side comparison of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and the LG V10. Uh, but I kind of misguided you. It's not really going to be a full review of each one. It's not going to be a really a side-by-side, -side, but more of a video as to the reasons why I'm actually choosing the Note 5 as my daily driver versus the LG V10. And both of these are T-Mobile variants. This is the Snow Pearl White or something, and this is just the standard uh, black uh, that you get with T-Mobile. Uh, this is a 64 gigabyte version as well as this is of course you actually have an option for 32 gigs with this phone as well as uh, Well, actually they did not sell the 128 in the United States uh, But LG only does the 64 gigabyte version uh, here in the United States uh, I'm not going to go into full reviews and details of everything in specs just because there's enough videos about uh, out there about it People talk about it. You already know the differences I'm just going to kind of give you the differences as to the reason why I'm choosing the Note 5 over the LG V10. I've used both over the last few weeks and months, I should say, uh, when I got this back uh, uh, late last year uh, and picked it up. Uh, so I'll kind of give you some rundown and details. So let's take a look. All right, the first thing I'm going to talk about is going to be the wireless charging with the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Uh, this comes built in with the Note 5 and with pretty much all your uh, S6, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus, and the Note 5 series uh, from 2015. Basically, what happens is I actually got a free charger with my S6 when I got it through AT&T, and they also had some other bundles uh, with Sprint and Verizon earlier this last year, 2015. Uh, but the great thing I love about it is I'm without wires and don't really have to worry about plugging in because as soon as I plug in, uh, you'll see a light come on and it lets me know that it's wirelessly charging. Uh, so that's one great thing that I love over uh, on the Note 5 versus the LG V10. Now the V10 does not have wireless charging built in, but if you search around on Amazon, you can find this little, uh, little deal right here. And this has actually been shown on some other videos. Uh, this actually is like a little um, uh, reception unit for to create wireless charging and the unit I think I paid maybe eight or twelve dollars for and it actually came with a little wireless charging pad uh, therefore I can actually take the back off of this LG V10 and I'm gonna take the case off and take the back off I really don't really need the case but it's just kind of there just out of habit of me having cases but basically if you look at the back of the LG V10 uh, inside of here and I'm going to see, maybe I may have to make a close-up video of this. Uh, there is a little sticker here that shows has a metal contact, and that allows you for charging. Uh, but there is no wireless charging built in with this. So when you buy this little doodad here, this actually gives you wireless charging straight to the battery out of the back of the uh, case. You can actually buy separate ones that have it built in. But for like 8 to 12 bucks, this is a lot easier. Like I said, plus mine came with one. Uh, along with a USB cable. So life without wires is great on the Samsung side. I love it. Uh, speaking of wires as well, uh, one thing that LG and Samsung both share, both of these phones have Android Pay based upon NFC technology. So this is great for people that are using the NFC contactless payment systems and it has the Android Pay, basically the same technology that Apple uses. So you're able to use the NFC thing uh, where anywhere Apple Pay is accepted, pretty much Android Pay is accepted because they have those. That's great, all well and fine, but one thing that Samsung actually did one up better than Apple and Android Pay both is, this doesn't have Samsung Pay, aka the software that they bought up a few years ago called Loop Pay, which is MST technology, which uses the magnetic stripe that's on the back of most of your major credit and, credit and debit cards that you can get. That is not in this phone. So that kinda is a drag for me because my bank actually supports Samsung Pay. So with this, I can actually, and I'm gonna see if I can do this without showing you any information, I can actually pull open my phone and at the bottom, I swipe up and then there's my credit card and I'm able to, able to actually pay for whatever it is that I'm wanting to pay for with just a tab of my thumb 
and it actually runs through like a regular credit card and the reactions are great. I honestly should do a video just on reactions when I do it because people are like, oh, we're living in the future. Now you can pay with your phone. And it's like, well, we've actually been able to pay with our phones for a very long time. Uh, Google Wallet was around a lot uh, longer before Android Pay showed up. And then uh, there was some NFC stuff that they tried with some old Nexus phones uh, way back, but it never got any traction. So a lot of people never really saw anything to it. But now with Samsung and then purchasing Loot Pay a few years ago and then introducing it last year in, in March uh, and showing us Samsung Pay, we can now actually pretty much use this in about, I would say, 97% of the places that you can shop. Basically, if they have a card swiper, you can use this. The only caveat is your bank has to approve the use of it. For me, it's SunTrust Bank. Uh, so SunTrust did approve the use of Samsung Pay. So now I can actually use my credit debit card in my phone on pretty much any card swiper. The only places it doesn't work is like the gas station. And for those of you that are in the United States, for the gas station where the card actually goes in, uh, or an ATM where it goes straight in, uh, it won't work on those because I believe the magnetic card stripes on the actual inside further back and it's too far for the actual uh, contact to make. So NFC is on here for Android Pay. I did have a question about that whenever I unboxed the LG V10. NFC is in here, but it's Android Pay and not Samsung Pay. And that's the one big difference. I think Samsung did really great when they went through and said, we're gonna use this MST technology. No, it's not the future, but it's also the transition piece between now and then to when we get there and everybody's using NFC. But for the time being, it's really cool to be able to use that. So again, life without wires, I love it, it's great. So those really honestly, just a real quick short video are the two big things that I love about it. It's the wireless charging and the Samsung Pay that keep me away from using this as my daily driver. If I actually weren't using the Samsung Pay, I might actually go to this just because I can get the accessory uh, and make my uh, LG V10 wireless charging, which is really cool. Uh, one thing I will say, though, is if you missed out on it uh, earlier, la towards the end of last year, uh, right around the November, December time frame, if you purchased the LG V10 like when I did, they actually had a promotion where you got an extra charger that actually houses an extra battery, so you can actually have two batteries. And they also gave you a 200 gigabyte micro SD card for this phone. So not only do I have the 64 gigs that's installed on this phone, I also have a 200 gigabyte micro SD card in the back just as well, which is great for this phone because this phone is awesome when it comes to video uh, with the DAC that's uh, the 32 bit DAC that's in here for audio. Uh, it's great. I I'll, I'll be honest with you, listen to this thing on headphones much better than the Samsung Galaxy. Now, uh, doing Bluetooth is not really gonna matter uh, because Bluetooth is Bluetooth. Uh, but with a hardwired cable to this with the 32-bit uh, DAC, this thing is great for listening to music, uh, especially those lossless uh, FLAC uh, files. So that thing's great. Uh, obviously, with the video, most of you have seen that you can control where your mic comes from because it has three audio processors in it, so you're able to kind of see front to back and kind of move it as far as the uh, audio is concerned. Everyone already knows about the second screen notifications, uh, extra apps that you want to get into, or recent apps, I should say, or shortcuts, or just text that you want coming across here. Everyone knows about that second screen notification. Also, uh, previously I talked about in the unboxing video, the two five megapixel cameras, you got an 80 degree and a 120 degree uh, front facing camera that you can use. And it's really cool because you can actually do three videos at once when you're shooting with this thing. It's actually kind of fun. I haven't really made use of it the way I wanted to or I thought that I wanted to. It's kind of more of a gimmicky effect. It, it's neat to see. Uh, but I, I couldn't really find an applicable use for it in a daily sense, but it is kind of neat to see. Obviously, the Samsung Galaxy only has one camera, but I'm not really worried about that. And same thing here. This actually has some pretty cool Note features, but it doesn't have the S Pen like what the Galaxy Note 5 has. So it, it all boils down to what your preferences are. For 2015, for a phablet phone, 5.7 inch, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to choose the Note 5 over the V10 and not because of specs, anything else, just majorly because of the wireless charging and the Samsung 
uh, pay. So nothing wrong with the LG V10. Both phones are great. If you want to go out and get one, be my guest. The V10 is a great phone to choose from. The Note 5 is a great phone to choose from. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, or anything that you want to find out about either one of these phones, please feel free to leave comments in the section below. Also, like this video, share if you can, uh, subscribe if you can as well. I'll try to make more videos for 2016. I missed out on uh, CES this year, unfortunately. My team kind of fell apart at the last minute, so that's fine. Uh, but we're going to look forward to hopefully a lot more videos in 2016. Uh, and I had a lot of... Oops. Just saw that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> my brain went there. But I saw a lot of comments and videos on some of my latest videos like my MSI laptop, stuff like that. So if you have questions, feel free to ask. Again, leave comments below. Subscribe, like, share the video. You can find us everywhere online. We're on uh, twitter.com slash TV. We're on facebook.com slash TV. Uh, we're on gplus.to slash TV. That's Google Plus uh, for those of you. If, you. if you're out there and you use it, we're on, uh, we're on that. Um, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. You're probably watching this on YouTube right now. So subscribe there, youtube.com slash TV. And for all things TextNation, you can find everything that you need, news articles that I write from time to time. Uh, it's very rare. I just wrote one about the whole T-Mobile kerfluffle that's going on. Uh, if you have any thoughts about that, go to that article. Go check that out. Uh, kind of uh, weird how the public sensed what T-Mobile was doing with the uh, video data. But anyway, TXTNation.TV. That's TextNation.TV. Stay subscribed. Share this video if you can. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.